What's up everybody, I'm Alessandro and welcome to The Standardist. Today we're gonna to talk about the best Seiko 5 watches. These are the ones that I think are the best looking and without further ado, let's jump right into it. First, we have the SNKL 41 that you can have for around $120. It has a case size of 37 millimeters, a lock to lock distance of 41.8 millimeters, a water resistance of 30 meters, and it's powered by the 7S26 movement with a power reserve of around 40 hours and it has a Harlex crystal. And by the way, before we go on, pretty much every single watch here has a movement that has a power reserve between 40 and 43 hours, depending on the movement and how lucky you are with yours. And they also have a Harlex crystal, so I'm not gonna repeat that. So the SNKL41 would be your pick if you're trying to get something that looks like the Sarb 035. I would even argue that it looks as good from a distance as a Grand Seiko. I think it looks that good. And even if you go with the SNKL43, so the blue version or the SNKL45, the black version, you just can't go wrong with this one. You could very well pick that watch and stop watching this video because I think they look awesome and you can wear them in pretty much any occasion. Next up, we have the SNZF17 or the Sea Urchin that you can have for around $135. It has a case size of 41 millimeters, a lock to lock distance of 48.9 millimeters, a water resistance of 100 meters, and it's powered by the 7S36 movement. Of course, this has got to be your go-to dive watch from the Seiko 5 line. You can go with the all black model, which I think looks very cool. But if you prefer to have that Pepsi bezel, you have that version available as well. That is the SNZF 15. Obviously 100 meters of water resistance doesn't make it a full blown diver watch, but still it's a very great choice. Next up, we have the SNK 809 that you can have for around $85. And yes, the price tend to go up as of now. It has a case size of 37 millimeters, a lock to lock distance of 43 millimeters, a water resistance of 30 meters, and it's powered by the 7S26 movement. You don't have to go with the black one, you can go with the cream dial or the blue dial or the green dial, that kind of military green. And obviously that would be your choice if you're looking for a smaller pilot watch. This one is iconic, you can see it all around the internet and YouTube for a reason. This watch offers tremendous value for money and I would consider the one with the metal bracelet because it looks very cool as well. Next up we have the SNZH 57 or the 55 Fathoms. You can have this one for around $150. It has a case size of 41 millimeters, a lock to lock distance of 46.8 millimeters, a water resistance of 100 meters, and it's powered by the 7S36 movement. So this one clearly has the vibe of the Blancpain 50 Fathoms. And I'm showing you the one with gold accents, but you can go with the all steel version. And this is why it is called the 55 Fathoms, by the way, because the steel version is the S and the H55. And I really like some design cues of this one, namely the sword hands and that kind of glossy bezel. Not the design cues that you see every day, but I think it makes this watch very attractive. Next up, we have the SNK K27 or the Speed Racer. You can have this one for around $65. And yes, that's the cheapest of this list. It has a case size of 38.5 millimeters, a lock to lock distance of 45.1 millimeters, a water resistance of 30 meters, and it's powered by the 7S. 26 movement. And this one, I think it's all about the dial. It's called the Speed Racer for a reason. Really, you have that racing vibe. It's very apparent here. I really like the fact that you have that yellow track running from 12 o'clock to 4 o'clock, the yellow seconds hand to match, and then that arrow on the hour hand. It's a very attractive piece. And so if you're looking for something that has that kind of racing style, that would be your pick. Next up, we have the SNZG 15 that you can have for around $150. It has a case size of 42 millimeters, a lock to lock distance of around 49 millimeters, a water resistance of 100 meters, and it's powered by the 7S36 movement. Obviously, this one has kind of a vibe that you can find in the SNK 809, but this one is more like a field watch because of the Arabic numerals that are not by five minutes increments. And it's bigger too, so if you want something with a little bit more presence, well, that would be your pick. You can have this one in blue and green as well. But again, my pick would be the black one, but
but in either case, you'll be all set with a great looking field watch. Next up, we have the SNK E01 that you can have for around $150. It has a case size of 37 millimeters, electric distance of 41 millimeters. It has a water resistance of 50 meters and it's powered by the 7S26 movement. This one will be your pick if you're in the market for something that has kind of that Explorer 2 vibe from Rolex, but on a budget. Obviously, it's not the same watch. You can see the differences in the hands and the hour indices, but what gives this watch kind of a Explorer vibe is because of the bezel. And that's one of the only ones that you can find in the Seiko 5 line with those Arabic numerals with five minutes increments on the bezel. A very cool looking, kind of rugged looking watch, even if you have Dauphin hands, it has at the same time a sporty look to it and some kind of elegance. Please bear in mind that this one has an integrated bracelet, so you will have to wear it on that bracelet. Next up, we have the SRPB21 or the Seiko 5 Turtle. You can have this one for around $150. It has a case size of 45 millimeters, electric distance of around 50 millimeters, a water resistance of 100 meters, and it's powered by the 4R36 movement. This is one of the only watches in this list that has the 4R36 movement that is hacking and hand winding. I wish it was a little bit smaller, but this one is very cool thanks to its turtle case. And also it has almost like a compressor style vibe to it if it had a second crown but it doesn't so this one you cannot turn the internal bezel or the chattering it's not a proper dive watch but truth be told that sunburst blue dial with that orange hand that black chattering and orange NATO strap for me is a great combo. You can have it also with a blue sunburst dial and blue chapter ring with that kind of fumé greenish dial and all black with a stainless steel bracelet as well. Next up, we have the SRPC61 or the bottle cap, and you can have this one for around $170. It has a case size of 45 millimeters, electrolyte distance of 47 millimeters, a water resistance of 100 meters and it's powered again by the 4R36 movement, which is hacking and hand winding. So this one is kind of odd when it comes to the size because it has a small bezel and big hour indices and so it appears quite big. And at the same time, it has a short lock to lock distance and the case is wider at its base than it is at the bezel. You can go with the black dial and stainless steel bezel, which I think looks very cool, but you have an old blue model and also one that is very cool, a black PVD case and a London blue or a petroleum blue dial, which is very cool as well. And that could be a very cool alternative to that Seiko tuna kind of style because of the very short lock to lock distance, but on a budget. And last but not least, we have the SNXS 79K that you can have for around $165. And yes, the price of this one is definitely going up. It has a case size of 37 millimeters, electrolyte distance of 42.2 millimeters, a water resistance of 30 meters, and it's powered by the 7S26 movement. If you've been following the channel, you know that this is one of my favorite Seiko 5s. My pick would be that kind of medium gray rhodium dial, but you can have it also with a blue dial, a green dial, or a white dial. If you're like me, you will find that the case sits a little bit high on the wrist and the bracelet obviously is not the best in the world. And this is why I put the dial of that very watch in another case from the Seiko 5 line. And I'm gonna link that video if you want to check that mod. But still, I think this is the best dial in the Seiko 5 line. And obviously, this is an affordable way to get that Rolex they just look. Of course, you will find links to all these watches in the description below. And if you want to get one for yourself, that will help the channel a lot if you shop around using these links. Guys, if you like this video, well, please hit that like button and let me know in the comment section below what you think are the best Seiko 5 watches out there. The best looking ones and the most affordable ones, please share with everybody in the comment section below. If you want to stay tuned about lists, reviews, watches for small wrists and watches in general, because that's what we like around here, well, subscribe to the channel and check the little bell icon so that you get notified as soon as I post a new video or when I go live. And in the meantime, thank you so much for dropping by. Stay stylish and keep watching.